Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Here we are from the fourth group We will present about clause as representation Clause as representation means as a clause seen from its function As a tool to represent something Namely, as a tool to describe everything that happens Whether it happens outside or inside the human body Clause as representation consists of process that denote by verbs and then participant that denote by nominal group whether it is object or subject and circumstance that denote by adverbial group, prepositional phrase and adjunct. Here is the example of clause as representation. The lion kissed the tourist lazily through the bush. The lion as the participant case it is verb that it means include into process and the theories as the receiver from the verb or as the participant to and then lazily through the bush it's called a circumstance here is the table of process and their component there are six process in class as a representation there is material mental relational behavioral verbal and existential process each type of this process has their own name of participant participant one in material process called as actor while the participant two called as go mental process in the participant one called as sensor while the participant two called as phenomenon in relational process participant one called as career or identified while the participant to called as attribute or identifier in behavioral process it's only need one participant that called behavior while in verbal process it called sayer as the participant one and receiver or target as the participant two while the existential it same with the behavioral process that they only need one participant that called existence jadi, setiap partisipan itu penyebutannya tergantung proses apa yang dia lalui Misalkan prosesnya termasuk pada material, berarti dia disebutnya actor atau goal Atau ketika prosesnya di, termasuk ke dalam mental proses, berarti dia disebutnya sebagai sensor atau fenomenon Begitu seterusnya And then, mind types of circumstance. There are four type of circumstance. Extent, that explain about duration and distance, for example, for three hours. Location, that explain about place and time, for example, in June, from Paris. Manner, means quality, comparison, for example, like with a hammer. And then, cause that specify a reason, purpose, behalf for example, like to do my job okay, we go to the next explanation the first one is material process or process of doing they express the notion that some participant called as actor does something to other entity that called goal material process use verbs of action such as run, kick, climb, spring, and etc. Here is the example of material process. The boy kick the ball in the yard. In this sentence, the verb is used for action, that is kick. So the participant one called as actor, while the participant two called as go. The boy as actor means as the participant kick Verb action means include into material process that's called as process. The ball as the participant to means as a goal. And then in the yard, it's mean the location that is include into circumstance. The second one, mental process or process of perception, affection, and cognition. These are expressed by a verb of feeling perceiving and thinking such as like, hate, love, know, think and understand and etc. Here the participant have different names of sensor, the conscious being animate or inanimate that is have feeling, thinking or seeing, and phenomenon 
which is sent or felt. For example, for the perception, we heard the bell at night. The verb in this sentence use heard. It means that perception of mental process. So the participant one use uh, we called as sensor, while the participant two uh, we called as phenomenon. We as sensor called as participant. Heard mental process means that it is the process, the bell, it is the participant to the called as phenomenon, and at night, it's explained about the time, so it's included in two circumstances. Other example of affection, I love him so much. I, as the participant one, called as sensor, love as the process that include into mental process, and then him as the participant to the called as phenomenon so much as the circumstance. And the last example is cognition. Lisa knows the secret. Lisa as the participant one as called sensor knows as the mental process the include into process and the secret as the participant to the called as phenomenon. For the next explanation, it will explained by Nabila Hauluki and Noriana Wanti. So the third is relational process. Relational process is a process about the state or condition of someone or something. Jadi relational process ini merupakan suatu proses tentang keadaan atau kondisi seseorang atau sesuatu. Type of relational process has two form. Relational process ini memiliki dua bentuk, yaitu attributive and identifier. The first is attributive. In the attributive form, an attribute that is attached to a participant can be quality, state, time, place, or as ownership. Jadi dalam bentuk atributif ini, partisipan bisa menjadi kualitas yang mensifati ataupun menerangkan kualitas dari partisipan sebelumnya. Atau intensif, bisa juga menjadi sirkumstansial, yaitu menerangkan tentang tempat, keadaan, waktu, dan lain-lain. Atau juga bisa menerangkan tentang kepemilikan atau posesif. The participant are called career and attribute so the second is identifying meanwhile in the form of identifying one element is used to identify another element sedangkan dalam bentuk identifying uh, elemen yang satu itu digunakan untuk mengidentifikasi elemen yang lain the participant participant disebut sebagai identified dan identifier so for the example of attribute cause the first is intensive atau yang menerangkan tentang kualitas Sarah is wise Sarah as career is as relational process wise as attribute So, the second is circumstantial atau yang menerangkan tentang keadaan, waktu, dan tempat. Sarah is at home. Sarah as career is as relational process at home attribute. So, the last is possessive atau yang menerangkan tentang kepemilikan. Sarah has a pet. Sarah as career has as relational process a pet as attribute. So, the next is the example of identifying cause. Contoh dari identifying cause yaitu Mr. Al played the piano. Mr. Al as identified, played as relational process, the piano as identifier. Nadine is the clever one. Nadine as identified is as relational process, the clever one as identifier Nino is Elsa's husband Nino as identifier is as relational process 
Elsa's husband as identify, identifier. The most basic difference between the two is that the identifying clause is reversible, while the attribute clause cannot. Perbedaan paling mendasar antara identifying clause dan attribute attributive clause adalah di mana identifying clause itu dapat uh, dibolak-balik antara partisipan 1 dan partisipan 2. Contoh, Nino is Elsa's husband bisa dibalik menjadi Elsa's husband is Nino. So, the identifying clause has a passive form while the attributive clause has an identifying clause ini memiliki uh, bentuk yang pasif sedangkan attributive clause tidak So the next is about behavioral process. Behavioral process expressed by verb such as call, yawn, smile, breathe, faint, worry, and extra. Jadi behavioral process ini meng- mengekspresikan atau diekspresikan oleh kata kerja atau verbs. Only one participant is required. Hanya satu partisipan yang dibutuhkan. This participant is termed the behavior. Partisipan ini disebut dengan behavior. For the example, they laugh loudly. They as behavior, laugh behavioral process, loudly as quality. He frowns. He as behavior, frown as behavioral process. Okay, I will explain about verbal processes and existential processes. Verbal processes or processes of saying. This is a large category that not only includes the different modes of saying, asking, commanding, offering, stating, but also semiotic processes that are not necessarily verbal, showing, indicating. The central participant is the sayer, the verb pH is what is said and the target or receiver is the person it is said to. Here are some examples of uh, verbal processes. First is statement. He told me a story. He, as a sayer, this is a participant one, told as a verbal processes, this is a process, me as a receiver or participant two, add a story as a verb pH, as a circumstances and then common he scored his horse he as a sayer participant one scored verbal process as a process and his horse as a target is a participant two and then question ali asked tony whose book is that ali as a sayer participant one asked verbal process as a process tony receiver uh, participant 2 and uh, whose book is that as a fair pH circumstances and then over I invited Rena to my host I as a sayer participant 1 invited for the process process Rena as a target participant 2 to my host as a circumstances and then existential processes this represent that something exists or happens in this case, what we are doing is affirming the existence of something or someone. In this case, there acts as a grammatical subject, but it doesn't fulfill any function outside of, it, of its grammatical role. The only significant element is the thing or person being affirmed as existing. There is only one participant called existent. Okay, for example, there was an old man. There, as a grammatical subject, was, as an existential process, as a process, an old man, as a participant, or, or existent. And then, there seems to be a problem. And then, there hangs a picture on the wall. There, as a grammatical subject, hangs, as an existential process or process, a picture, as an existent or participant, and then on the wall as the circumstances. Okay, enough uh, from our group.
and thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.